back on the sweater update with Stoney of 97 won the ticket. You know, there have been a couple of streaks here. Ten straight losses to the Packers, 19 straight losses to divisional opponents. Which is an amazing yeah. stat if you, if you think about it. But you know, they got that out of the way. And, look, they played very good defense today. The Packers didn't play well. The Lions also ran the football. Give Scott Linehan some credit. They came up with some somewhat clever run schemes. They Stephon Logan lining up as a halfback and, and things like that. They try to reverse to Calvin. He didn't get the ball enough. He did drop one play, a ball in one play, and he hit the, the bomb or a long pass over, over Woodson. He didn't have one of his best games. Drew was a horrible first half. But, look, we sit there and complain that they lose when they're close and all this. They won. We, people should be happy. They won a game. It doesn't have to be pretty. Right. Well, Jim, and, Sh and Schwartz said it was ugly. But it was beautiful. Yeah, you win a game uh, in this league, certainly when you're talking about the Lions, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, and, and look, they had guys, you know, go down with injury during the game yeah. as well. And McDonald I, I broke his arm. And they had this guy, uh, Prince Miller, who they just picked up, like, on Wednesday. He's playing a lot. They, things like that happen. Averill got hurt again. So it's good for them. They won. Look, they've been in practically every single game. They have not, I thought they were going to get blown out today. I, really, I thought today was the, and you know what, give them credit. Lion teams in the past, as you know, Dave, once they get to a certain point after Thanksgiving, they start losing. They get those I-75 eyes where they look like they can't wait to get out of here. Yeah. Not this crew. At least they, they play hard. How do we grade Drew Stanton? This was his third start today. I mean, at times it looked like he couldn't make the plays. Uh, no, especially but he made half. one. He made one. And he was very good running the ball. I liked the option. You know, the, the play to Heller was a, a nice screen. He made a nice throw to Pettigrew, who made a good catch on the play. He, Brian Johnson didn't drop a ball, so he had that first half, though. Was, I mean, the interception in the end zone was really, really bad. Yeah. So, uh, I grade him uh, C minus. Yeah. But yeah. they won, so you got to give him an A. Yeah, well, it's all go. about wins, right? It's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. All right, this game, Monday night. Uh, if you've never been to an NFL game before, this is your opportunity. It is going to be free. Free. At, at Ford Field. And you got two good football teams. Yeah, Giants and Vikings you get to see some, you know, guys who, you know, if you don't go to Lions games, you know, you don't get to see Adrian Peterson and Percy Harvin and the other side, Eli Manning and that good Giants defense, guys like Justin Tuck and things like that. And it may be historic. If Brett Favre does not start, the streak is over. Uh, I have a feeling... Knowing Brett Farr, probably Ed Werder's probably in his bedroom right now as we speak. <laughs> but I think he'll probably take a few snaps and then they'll get him out of there just to keep the streak alive. And then when the Vikings actually come to play the Lions last game of the season, that'll be historic because they'll probably be the last game I, of his I career. Would, I would think so. Yes. Uh, you're, you're interested in Michigan hoops and uh, well, the not, turnaround there. Not so much interesting, interested. It's just the fact that all of a sudden, quietly, they're starting to play really well. I mean, beating uh, Utah's not great, but they blew them out. Get nice, you know, performances by, you know, guys like uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. And, and that's really good. And it's nice to see them getting better. Michigan State, they're still going to be there. Right. And I know a lot of Spartan fans are upset that they play these tough games early and they just can't win. Syracuse pounded them, you know, in the garden. And Tom Izzo questioning the toughness of the team. Draymond Green saying they play like girls. I mean... This will help them come to any time, but they can't go to that well every single year. Yeah, you need to win let's, against let, some of those top-ranked teams. Let's see them. They play Texas on the 22nd. Let's see them do that and have a really good Big Ten season. All right, Stonehead of the Week. Uh, if you've been paying attention to the basketball around here, the National Basketball Association team around here, you're Detroit Pistons. Nice week. Four games they lose at Houston, then back-to-back -back, a dreadful performance against New Orleans. Then they lose to Minnesota. They don't play well. And last night they return home. They led by 25 points late in the third quarter, and then you lose to the Toronto Raptors? Ugh, Stoneheads! <laughs> Let me tell you, if they had real owners right now, with all due respect, Kuster would probably be gone, but they're just, whatever happens, happens. He's Mike Stone, 97 won the ticket uh, sweater you, update yeah. tonight. This is a lot of fun. Absolutely. Great to have you back uh, here. With you. With me. Yeah. On Sports Update, and we've got more straight ahead.